World War I hoaxing at its finest. War machines powered by self-cooling rotary engines took to the sky, their role grew from simple reconnaissance to combat. The first hostile skirmishes consisted of pilots lobbing grenades or rope to tangle the enemy's propeller as they circled each other at a breathtaking 60 miles an hour. Ah, you will not catch me, Fritz, no way! <laughs> Come on now, the humor gets even better. Take that, you crazy French person, you! Some even exchanged revolver fire. All very tricky whilst you're trying to fly a primitive single-seater aeroplane. Yes, very tricky. Tricking you. Right Frenchman Roland Garros worked out how to fix a forward-facing machine gun to his aircraft, meaning the pilot could look where he was going and where he was firing at the same time. Forward-facing machine guns were a great advantage, but once... Okay, so what's the speed of this propeller blade right now, if it's up in the air? <laughs> and what's the speed of a machine gun firing? Come on now. Keep listening because the BS is so thick. You can smell it. My problem was that you were firing bullets into your own spinning wooden propeller. Not a good thing. So Roland, being a clever chap, attached <laughs> metal plates to deflect the bullets and thus prevent them from making mincemeat of his propeller. Très bien. Okay. Let's, for just a minute, analyze what he just said. So this, this is put on this side of the propeller blade and another one somewhere on the other side, okay? What does that do to the propeller? <laughs> Can the propeller do its job keeping the aircraft in the air? Now let's take another attack on this nonsense. Let's just say that this does function as the designer said it would function. And let's say bullets start bouncing off of this and coming back to him. <laughs> what would guarantee that the bullets, if they're bouncing and ricocheting, don't ricochet right back against the aircraft or the pilot? But it's nonsense. And notice it's in the shape of a triangle. You know what triangles are, right? They're two sevens. There's your seven right there. And there's another seven right there. You put two sevens together, which is a double Zion. So the double Zion is being used right now against you and against me with this nonsense. Garros took off with his high-tech gun rig on the 1st of April 1915. He surprised a German pilot by flying straight at him. The 1st of April? Ha! Isn't that April's Fool's Day? Fool's Day? Firing guns through his propeller and successfully downed the enemy. Dutch engineer Anton Fokker soon came up with a more sophisticated solution than deflector plates. It was called the interrupter gear. Okay, so now the BS is going to get greater. And please pay close attention to the name of the inventor. I don't want to get too specific. The interrupter system, which was essentially a crankshaft-driven mechanism, allowed the machine gun to fire when the propeller was clear of the barrel, but disabled it when the propeller was in front of it like that. Simple. The levers and rods of the interrupter gear put an end to the problem of shooting off your own propeller. In 1916, the Fokker Eindecker, complete with interrupter gear, hit the skies over Europe. It was a very effective fighter and won Germany air superiority. The Allies came to know it as the Fokker Scourge. Okay. 
So do you believe this nonsense? Do you believe in the Fokker scourge? Anthony Fokker? Who brought the Fokker scourge? Do you believe it? Or do you believe that war is nonsense? It's hoaxing. And not only is it hoaxing, but it's mega bucks. So someone comes up with this idea of an interrupter gear or a synchronization device so they can shoot their machine guns. So on paper and in propaganda schemes, it works. But is it really truthful? No. So let's just take an example. If you have a gun at home, would you get out your simple rotary box fan and then say, I'm going to shoot a bullet between the blades. Would you do that? Do you think someone really invented a device that can shoot between the blades of your fan? And the blades of your fan, as its speed may not be anywhere as near the speed of the propeller blade? I didn't calculate the speed of the propeller blade. You can do that if you like. It's not necessary for me. Just simple logic. The interrupter gear is really a mechanism that interrupts your brain so that you believe there were biplanes flying around in the sky and men so desperate to kill one another, they pulled out their revolvers and started shooting at each other, floating around in the sky at 60 mile an hour, and then some yo-yo by the name of Fokker invents an interrupter gear where bullets can magically go between a propeller blade What's easier to believe? That that is true? Or it's just all nonsense? Because war is a hoax. And the gears or mechanisms of war oftentimes are hoaxes too. Making fantastic claims. Well... I didn't mean to interrupt your day, but this has been on my mind for quite some time because it ties into war is a hoax. Go to the one who never hoaxes you, and that is the Lord God Almighty, who sent his son Jesus and gave us his holy word where you can find truth. Thank you for watching.